As someone who knows a thing or two about growing pains in WWE, can I give you some advice? Go for it. Three words. Ignore the haters. So, you've seen Cameron Grimes and Happy Corbin chirping at me on social media. Chirper's gonna chirp. And they sure as heck chirped at me during my retribution days. You just gotta tune out the noise. Trust me. Oh, I don't trust anybody around here yet, but thanks for the tip. Hey, I get it. I didn't come up through the PC either. I know what it's like to feel like an outsider here. And I definitely know what it's like to find yourself in a costume you didn't pick. Doesn't mean you can't make it work for you. I can help you find your footing, if you're interested. What's in it for you? Never hurts to have friends, even for us outsiders. How about it? Sounds like more noise to me. No thanks. I'm good for now. Suit yourself. You know where to find me if you change your mind. Well, well. If it isn't the Intercontinental Champion. I remember my first IC title, but barely. Because I've had so many. <laughs> Losing your memory in your old age, huh? So sad. <laughs> wow. Locke's got jokes. And I was just about to teach you everything I know about being the Intercontinental Champ. Enlighten me. To be a true Intercontinental Champion requires a truly Intercontinental skill set with mastery of styles from all over the world. And your intercontinental specialty is... British? Japanese? Lucha? Cleveland? No, no, no. I am the greatest French-style wrestler of all time, of course. A style defined by the element of surprise, or as the French say, surprise, with a zzz, which they stole from me. Are you sure about that? My wife is French, so I'd know. But enough spelling talk. Let me show you what the Intercontinental Championship is all about. In the ring, for your title, what do you say? <sighs> sure, but I've got more important business first. I've already got a cage match title defense lined up. Well, bon chance, as the French would say. Break a leg, or two. An impressive win over Mad Cat Moss. Here comes the Miz with a shot to the back. What the heck is he doing out here? And now the Miz is asking for the cage to be lowered down. This is absolute mayhem. The champion just survived a cage match, and now he's dealing with this? The champ's doing his best to battle back, but Miz has played the element of surprise to perfection. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? Low blow from the Miz. The most unpredictable man in sports entertainment has struck again. And again, and again, and again. Talk about a long night for the Intercontinental Champion. This is brutal.
Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. Representing our neighbors to the north, it's Josie Jane. And his partner from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Josie Jane. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. Josie Jane looks like she's about to bring the pain. At least these two don't have separate matches. And the Miz and Maurice. Here we have two top tier athletes with one single vision to decimate their opponents by any means necessary. They might be on the same page going into this match, but will they be at the end? Uh, how dare you foreshadow any wedge coming between these two? You are looking at some of the most honorable superstars in WWE. The Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with a North of the Border superstar tonight for a mixed tag team match against WWE's marquee French couple, Miz and Maurice. Hold on, since when are the Miz and Maurice French? I wouldn't second guess Miz Saxton, not when it comes to maneuvering his way to another Intercontinental title. Watch and learn. Ooh! Measured elbow drop driven down. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Neckbreaker! Ouch. Now he's been put on the defensive. Right now he's thinking one of two things, Cole. I need to get out of here. Or I'm going to answer this call and pay him back. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. And Miz gets stopped in his tracks. Standing drop kick. Great up. Oh. Producing a trampoline. A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Very measured elbow drop. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. He's turning the tables. Sorry, you're an uppercut. Momentum on the side of the lock. The lock's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applaud. And the official calls a double count out. Should have listened to the count. It's the future of WWE, The Lock. It's the battle-tested Josie J. The Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with a North of the Border superstar tonight for a mixed tag team match against WWE's marquee French couple, Miz and Maurice. Hold on, since when are the Miz and Maurice French? I wouldn't second-guess Miz Saxton, not when it comes to maneuvering his way to another Intercontinental title. Watch and learn. And we just saw some serious offense. 
big forearm. We are European uppercut. Oh, walloped by a huge club. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Blast off. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. That is what happens when you throw your body around. You eventually meet the pavement. Oh, would you are arm bar applied. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. The Miz at the complete mercy of his opponent. Miz needs to rely on his resourcefulness. Uh-oh. Fighting back against Miz. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. What makes a great tag partner, Cole, is knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag partner. Honing in on the arm there. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Just pinning the arm down and that and a carefully measured knee drop. Very measured elbow drop. And Locke is really putting the pressure on. The lock isn't holding anything back. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. What an uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Oh. German suplex. But that's not all. Into a ripcord left. This could do it. Oh, come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. The lock is focused on finishing this. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. The cross face chicken wing. Oh, just tap out. Just no, 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 no. Oh. Teammate in. To... He's going for the pin. This could be it! Oh. Calls the pin off with a rope break. Oh, Miz turns the tables. Now Miz looking for some momentum. Yeah, Miz able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. The Miz just getting beat down. Not nah, looking so awesome for Miz here. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Boom! He reverses it. He went right into that turnbuckle. Leaving himself open here. Shoulder breaker. Into the cover. Feet on the wait, ropes. Wait, wait. Come on, ref, open your eyes. And the lock has picked up the pace. Yeah, lock is proving hard to keep up with. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Hoping to end it here. Oh, I thought it was over, but again. Can we please get some control? Great counter. Had misses playbooks. Does he get it here? And they're still in this. Oh! Moved at the right time. Driven down. This match grinded him down a little. DDT! That's gotta be it. Tough spot for the Miz. Reality setting in. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. It's locked in. The cross face chick. He had nowhere to go. He had to give up. That puts this mixed tag match in the books. Here are your winners. The Professor and Josie Jane. This pairing pain, strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys.
Congratulations on nothing. That win was completely meaningless. What matters is that I still have an icy title shot. Care to make it French rules? Here we go. What does that even mean? It's the highest form of unpredictable surprise-based sports entertainment. A proper cage match with escape-only rules. Are you intercontinental enough to handle it? Call it whatever you want, miss. It's clearly just a pathetic attempt to find an advantage that you will desperately need. Bad news, though? I'm keeping this intercontinental title no matter what fake French surprise you have planned. Bad news? No way! I'm clearly in your head, which is the best news. Say au revoir to your championship. It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. The Intercontinental Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the dramatic conclusion of the head-spinning saga between the defending Intercontinental Champion and The Miz. That's right, Michael. The Lock will defend his Intercontinental title against The Miz in a French Rules cage match where the first competitor to escape the cage will walk away with the IC title. Sit back, butter your baguettes, and enjoy two of the best in the business with the premium in premium live event. And that was an effective attack, guys. Rolling neck snap. And look here, he's making his way up the cage. Oh, heavy duty right hand. And the lock's maintaining the advantage now. Not an A-list performance here from Miz. Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Ah, uh, Fujiwara armbar applied! That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. And that definitely made solid impact. He turns it around. Look at this. Snap suplex. Big oh. impact. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Fujiwara armbar, they didn't come here to play. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Making the big climb towards victory. Oof. And he barely evades. Sorry, European uppercut. Would you are armbar applied? Oh! Evades their offense. Miz doing what he does. Oh! He gets what he deserves for all that floating. Our bar is locked in, and they are just wrenching away. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Ooh! Miz gets out of the way. Ow! The Miz just getting beat down. The lock isn't holding anything back. German suplex. But that's not all. And a ripcord lariat. What a combination. 
elimination. He's making his way up the side of the cage. Heading up and maybe heading out. He's all the way to the top of the cage. Not many options for him. Oh, boy. You're insane. You're insane. And everybody's down. That was either brilliant, crazy, or a combination of both. Is this the right time? Is this the right moment? And now he's starting to make his way up the cage. He's working toward making his escape. He can almost taste the win in this cage match. Looks like he's having trouble getting that other leg over. Close to escaping. Top of the cage. Pulling them back in. Saving the matchup. Needs to be careful, though. Every movement is a dangerous one. Oh, no. Boom! Oh, my goodness. Power bomb! And he's thrown from the cage down to the mat. Yeah, he's gonna have to try something else now. Gotta wonder if the stamina is there to make it all the way. And now he's made it to the top of the cage. He's nearly there. Just a few more sure-footed steps, and he's victorious. This is the moment for him. This is how winners are made. All the way from the top of the cage. Can they make the escape? Not safe up there. And well-timed maneuver there. Looking for a grip to get themselves over the cage. Trying desperately to escape. Oh, oh man. Oh, the lock gets caught with a counter. Oh, man. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. Oh, Oh, my goodness. Power bomb. And he hits the mat with a thud. Oh, that was a devastating fall. Oh, no. Getting in position. What's he planning to do here? The crossface chicken wing. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Tap out. And here we go. He's headed up the cage. And every inch climbed puts you in a more perilous position. He's looking down on the cage from the top. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. Fought so hard to be in this position, but he's only halfway to victory. And now he's looking to advance up the cage wall. And the champ retains. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Professor. Broken, beaten, and scarred. But there is your winner. And that's about as conclusive a win as you can get in the cage. Every match.
Hey, champ. I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? So far, you've been living up to the office's expectations. But now it's time for a big test. We want the lock to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. The live event's in one of our top markets, L.A. But there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. It takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not L.A. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, if you can sell out a major arena in L.A., you can do it anywhere, even Anaheim. So what do you think? I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want a main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. I think people have seen me face Sammy and Ridge enough. Time for a fresh matchup. Give me theory. For your sake, I hope your theory is correct. I'll see myself out. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in L.A. promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. That's news to me. And to be honest, that does raise the stakes a bit. The Rock's a huge deal, obviously. But I think there's room for both of us to succeed that night. Or at least I hope so. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks and anyone who attends is eligible to win. I heard fans were lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the champion from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 170 pounds, the Professor. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory.
Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Professor. So, how'd it go out there? The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not uh, great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought Facing Theory would be a fresh match people wanted to see, but maybe they wanted me to take on someone I had history with, like Sammy or Ridge. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows?
It's the man who might transform WWE forever. The Lock. Dolph Ziggler seems intent on flexing his veteran experience on the new Intercontinental Champion, and he's certainly not wasting any time. Saxton's usually the gossip girl of this group, but I heard backstage rumblings that Dolph actually made a play at mentoring the rookie. Seems to me like Dolph's the one that could use the mentoring. The Lock's already an Intercontinental Champion. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Looks under. Let's go behind. Into a German suplex. Ziggler intercepts. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Sorry, oh, European uppercut. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Are you serious? What is The Miz doing out here? Oh, he probably noticed it had been an hour since he saw his face on the TV screen. He's returning fire. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. He's lost some of his win now. Oh, the heel hook. Stretch. Ziggler now lacking any signs of resistance. Dolph's having trouble assessing the situation. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Oh, here it is, the abdominal stretch. Sharp elbows. And a hit toss to escape. Jarring uppercut. Just like that, Dolph dodges away. Measured elbow drop driven down. Lock launching attacks left and right. Now Lock is proving hard to keep up with. Oh, what a crash. Heading back to the ring. There he goes, right into the corner. And Dolph got bottled up there. Standing drop kick. Great ups. And Ziggler getting rocked there with one heck of an offensive statement at this point in the match. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Big oh. impact. Look at the arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Bam! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And a well-executed move we just saw there. German suplex. But that's not all. Into a ripcord lariat. What a combination. He can end it here. He's got him. folks here is your winner the professor that level of teamwork on display from their corner got the win tonight and if they can maintain it they've got big things ahead
You wanted to chat about Dolph Ziggler and The Miz? Are they friends of yours now? Not at all. More like the opposite. I need a little help getting them off my back and out of my social media feed. You down for a tag match? Tall order with those two, but count me in. Cool. You're welcome. It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. The self-proclaimed show stealer. Do I... Things are never as they seem with Dolph Ziggler, are they? The Intercontinental Champion is learning that the hard way as he takes on Dolph for the second time in as many weeks. No doubt The Lock and Gabriel Slade will have their hands full against the always unpredictable Dolph and his Hollywood co-star, Miz, in this tag team throwdown. Well, hopefully this sequel is better than Marine 2 through 6. Ah! him pay with a counter. He's in off the tag. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. <laughs> Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Back no. suplex on the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Many a match has turned on that kind of contact with the apron. This could be a key moment in this contest. Off would you are our bar applied. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Ooh, knee drop connects. Get this suplex. Power bomb. Oh my gosh. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Ooh. Oh, oh, right to the body. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework. He's got the shoulders down. Able to stop the pin count here. The Miz hot dogging right now. That's nothing new. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Oh, man. Inverted backbreaker. Ow. And there's the tag. Dolph Ziggler into the ring. Going for the suplex. Wait, wait a second. A power bomb too? That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Fist right on the temple. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. Ooh. Nice counter by Ziggler. Tagged in. The Miz letting him know who the real star attraction is here. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? 
Up high, diving cross body. Throwing all costs into the wind. Caught by the Lariat. He's looking a little off balance. Oh, man. Saw that one coming. What a shot. Face first into the Snapmare Driver. Cover, cover. He gets an emphatic kick out. Not time to expect victory yet. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. Clean tag for his partner. Caught square by the Haymaker. Standing drop kick. Right up. Oh, out. Big four. Good golly, Miss Molly. Boom. Devastating kick. Able to give him the slip. Big oh. impact. He's taking some good hits. Off with you, our armbar applied. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Ooh, well-planted knee. Ouch. And the lock has picked up the pace. The lock's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Eat defeat. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh this isn't going to be good. Compromised position here. Driven down face first. Cut off with a kick to the gut. Ooh. Oh my gosh, what impact. And Locke got turned around there. Super with the famous serve. Big oh. impact. Look at the arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Getting him into the corner. He's one step ahead there. Tag. Set up for the Russian oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. No. Oh. Break his arm. Vicious. In comes the Miz. Oh, close line. Here he goes for the win. Kicks out after one. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. And out of the ring he goes. Blasted by a forearm. Ooh. Ooh, stinging kick. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Uh-oh, part one. Gonna be looking for the trifecta. There's two. Still holding on. There it is. The Camaro Plus is complete. There's two. Both competitors digging into wells that didn't even know existed. Neck breaker. So smooth. Big knee buys him some time. Drop kick to the knee, that's great strategy. Measured stomp right to the gut. Oh, and then the chest as well. Oh, man. Oh, man, targeting the gut. Could be seconds away from seeing Slade fall. Ziggler has this in hand. Uh-oh. This could be it. Cover for the win. Well, what a save. Corey, that should have been three. I couldn't agree more. Shut right out of the ring. Ziggler telling the crowd what he already knows, and that is, damn, I look good. 
Body lock applied. Squeezing. Here he goes for the win. And he closes it out. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Drives a foot into the stomach. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, my! Unlucky spot for Miz. What a face buster. The Miz just got destroyed. Is it enough? The cover! Tag is registered. Spear! Spear! Great counter by the Miz. German suplex. But that's not all. Into a ripcord lariat. What a combination for the win. To be honest, I am baffled right now. The lock is focused on finishing this. Oh, he got him. Is he going to lock this in? The cross-faced chicken wing. He picks up a submission victory. With the counter. Scores the win. What a great team. Here are your winners. The Professor and Gabriel Slate. An emphatic victory for your winners. An impressive effort from this duo. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it. And I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon. You said no more sequels, but what about a trilogy? Here we go again. Don't you have a reality series to bore America with? I'm stepping in to handle casting for Dolph, and I just recruited a huge box office draw to be the newest cast member in our superstar ensemble. But I've got to keep him a secret. Classic Hollywood storytelling. Are you up to find out who it is? I told Dolph, and now I'm telling you, I'm not interested in crossing over into Hollywood. How many different ways do I have to say it? Okay, you want to know the truth? Dolph and I are working on a new movie, and the producers are concerned we need a fresh face, up-and-coming co-star, okay? Are you happy now? We need you. Next time, just come out and say that instead of wasting my time. But it's still a pass. Go bother someone else. Just hear me out. I'm gonna give you three options, okay? Rule of three, it's a Hollywood thing. You can team up with your boy Gabe one more time to face Dolph, me, and our mystery partner in a two versus three handicap match. You can take on the new mystery man alone in a singles match, or you can take on Dolph and I in a handicap match. If you agree, I'll make sure The Rock, John Cena, and Batista all tune in. <laughs> For real? Hollywood Connections, baby. But if you lose, you have to sign on to do our movie. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Fine. I've seen everything you and Dolph have to offer, so I'll take the mystery, man. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the well, here comes LA Knight, a man who brings the excitement level 
to the max. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Nice! Calls himself the Megastar. Well, he won't be one of those. The dramatic conclusion to the Intercontinental Champions rivalry with Dolph Ziggler all comes to a head here tonight. Classic Dolph Ziggler theater of the mind. He won't even be in the match. The IC champ will have to settle things with Dolph's stunt double. Let me ask you this, Saxton. If you can't enjoy the perks of a Hollywood entourage, why even have one? Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Ooh, well-planted knee. Ouch. Very measured elbow drop. Elbow drop on target. L.A. Knight's hopes are waiting. The lock isn't holding anything back. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He's getting a little battered now. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Elbow to the heart. Look at the arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Ah, uh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Big impact to the back of the neck. Oh, using the knee. Oh, sharp knee. Lock, will this be enough? Oh, and a kick out. Kicked out, he kicked out. He kicked out. He actually kicked out. Ooh, well-planted knee. Ouch. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. Measured elbow drop driven down. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Big forearm. Oh, did you hear that? Look at the arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. Ah, uh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Knight doesn't have any room to recover. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Oh, look at this. Neck lock into it. What a suplex. Turning the tables there. German suplex. But that's not all. Into a ripcord left. He thinks he has it. As close to three as you could possibly get without the bell ringing. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Up high. That could be curtains for night. Two. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, the professor. Wrestle perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. As always, Cole, you're more polite.